Greetings and welcome to our presentation on shipping terms. We are pleased you have selected our program to become acquainted with various terms that can affect shipping ownership and financial responsibility. As a purchasing professional, it is important for you to understand what terms are appropriate to use in every situation. This presentation will define and discuss some of the shipping terms that are used in both domestic and non-domestic purchasing. A purchasing professional has to have knowledge of various areas in order to be successful. One critical area that these professionals must be aware of is shipping terms, sometimes referred to as freight terms. Freight terms are important because they address questions pertaining to goods being shipped from the supplier to the buyer's company. The questions that are one, who pays the cost of freight, and two, who owns the freight while it's in transit are very important. One of the most commonly used shipping terms is free on board. FOB. This term determines when and where ownership of the product transfers from the seller to the buyer. Sometimes FOB states the point at which the shipping costs become the responsibility of the buyer. There are many variations of the FOB terms, all of which represent different meanings of who owns and who pays for the product being shipped. FOB destination, prepaid, means that the seller retains ownership of the product while it's in transit. If there is any damage to the freight while in transit, the seller will be responsible to file the damage claim with the freight company. The seller also pays the freight cost. This term is not seen often because it means that the seller is incurring an additional cost to do business with the customers. FOB destination freight collect means the buyer pays the freight cost. The seller owns the freight while in transit and is responsible for rectifying any problems incurred during transit. FOB destination prepay and add states the seller pays the freight costs and adds the amount to the invoice sent to the buyer. The seller owns the goods while in transit and is responsible for any claims if there is any damage to the freight while in transit. FOB shipping point, freight prepaid, means that the seller pays the cost of the freight and the buyer takes ownership of the freight as soon as it leaves the shipping point. Therefore, the buyer is responsible for filing any claims if there is damage during transit. FOB shipping, prepaid and add, means the seller pays the freight cost and adds the cost to the buyer's invoice. The buyer owns the goods while they are in transit. The buyer is also responsible to take care of filing damage claims if there is any damage while in transit from the supplier to the buyer. FOB shipping point, freight collect, means the buyer pays freight cost and takes ownership of the product during shipment and is responsible for filing damage claims if necessary. These are some of the more common freight terms that are most often used when setting parameters for buying goods from a supplier. These shipping terms are used when doing business with a domestic supplier. If the buyer is involved in sourcing product internationally, there are other terms that can be used. These terms are used because a seller has to transport goods from their location to either a shipping port for ocean shipment or an air freight company for air shipment. Some of the freight terms that a purchasing professional who has non-domestic suppliers should be familiar with are free alongside FAS, an FOB vessel and FOB airport. Yet other terms that may apply to both domestic and non-domestic freight are cost, insurance, and freight, CIF, and delivered duty paid, DDP. FAS, FOB vessel, and FOB airport are not commonly used freight terms when dealing with domestic shipping. A FAS term is when the seller is responsible for transporting goods to a pier and within the reach of the named vessel's loading tackle. Ownership and responsibility pass to the buyer at this point. The seller will invoice the buyer for costs incurred up until this point and the buyer takes responsibility for arranging the loading and shipping to the final destination. Sometimes a buyer will hire a broker to handle these transactions for them. It adds to the cost but it helps to eliminate additional stress on the buyer. Another freight term that has similar meaning to as FAS is free onboard vessel. FOB vessel means that the seller has included the cost of loading the goods on a vessel in their cost. Similarly, FOB airport means the seller will move the product to a designated airport for transport for the buyer. Cost, insurance, and freight, CIF, is a somewhat rare shipping term. This term signals that the seller agrees to bear the cost of freight and the cost to insure the goods being transported. The buyer, however, assumes ownership of the goods as soon as a freight company has possession. This can be a little confusing if there is any damage during shipment and a freight claim has to be filed. 
as the owner of the product, the buyer would have to file the claim. However, the reimbursement would go to the bearer of the freight bill, the supplier. Delivered duty paid, DDP, is a term that transfers all the responsibility of freight costs to the seller of the goods. Not only is the seller responsible for paying the cost of transporting the goods, but they retain ownership of the goods until they have been received and accepted by the buyer. In this case, the seller would be responsible for filing the claim if the product is damaged. Even more important, the seller would be responsible for replacing the product if the shipment is lost and never reaches the buyer. Shipping terms are an important part of purchasing from a supplier. It is helpful for the purchasing professional to be familiar with these terms because they determine who owns the goods and who is responsible for the shipping costs. As a purchasing professional, it can sometimes be a good point of negotiation when trying to do business with certain suppliers. Purchasing professionals can request the supplier pay the freight cost and the supplier may very well agree to this, but it has to be stated correctly on the purchase order. In the event that is not stated correctly, the buying company could end up having shipping expenses that were not anticipated, therefore increasing the cost to acquire the product. This presentation covers some of the more widely used shipping terms. There are many more freight terms that are not discussed here. It is a good idea to get to know the various ways that shipments are handled in your organization. Are there certain items that are only shipped by air? If so, become familiar with the freight terms that are associated with air freight shipments. Once a purchasing professional does this, they are able to confidently negotiate shipping terms with the supplier and truly understand how the terms are going to affect the cost of the part for the organization. Thank you once again for your time and attention, and this is businesstraining.com, where you can earn a master's level qualification to make more money.